hey, hey, hey. Let's see. There we are. All righty. We're live. So until Facebook comes up with a better idea, I have to say, I gotta wait till some people get on here. Give us just a minute. Waiting to see folks join in. Because I'm actually a, a couple of minutes early. Couple of minutes early. Got a lot to show you tonight. I've got a lot to show you. Some of these things are stinking cute. Hey, Angela. Hey, Vicki. Yeah, I got a lot to show y'all tonight, and some of it's cute. It's a warning. Um, I wish I had my little pen. I didn't even think of that. Oh, I put it over there. But y'all saw it. It's a picture of my 10-year pen. Yeah. There was no parade, no band, no balloons, nobody throwing candy off a float but it's okay I got it in the mail and it was crazy because the eight and a half by 11 sheet of letter was folded like it would go in a regular envelope but they sent this package that was like this big from Stampin' Up and and it just had a little pin in it hey Barbara hey Teresa hey Lisa okay okay I'm glad you guys are here all right, so it's going to be brief tonight. Um, I have an announcement I'll be making here shortly. Um, but I am going to try and keep us at 30 minutes. We may go 45, but I'm going to try and keep us at 30. Um, so, oh, hey, Susan. Glad to see you here. Okay, so um, I'm going to try and keep up with comments and all that sort of thing. But first, I got a little show and tell before before... You know, before I do anything, we're going to make something. I got some show and tell. And I don't know. Let me zoom over there. Zoom. Ha. Huh. Like we're zooming. Okay. I did put my picture kind of little right right here. Right here. <laughs> so maybe, um, maybe I won't be taking up so much space down in the corner. Which is where I've been. I've been in the corner. Nobody puts baby in the corner. Okay. All right. So, I'm showing you guys a catalog from last January to June. And you're going to wonder why in the world. Well, because there are some items in the catalogs like this that are timeless. Okay. This honeybee set. If you go on Pinterest and you look at... Oh, hey, Janice. If you go on Pinterest and you look at the um, this set called Honey Bee, you key in Stampin' Up Honey Bee, you'll see why sometimes, even though this is retired, we have sets that are absolutely timeless. I mean, bees are always going to be a thing. You can use black and yellow. You can use brown. You can use just, here we go, with blue and pink, any kind of colors, okay? So, yes, it is discontinued. Um, and they're on eBay for like, I want to say it was $70 for the stamp set and the, um, and the dies like this. So the idea that I'm having, that I'm sharing with you tonight is when you see something and you love it, you know, it's like this, get it? Because like, okay, we had this available and then the, the paper that went with it the artwork, everything about it matches the stamp set and the dies. Um, it's called Golden Honey Specialty Designer Series Paper. This was free with Celebration in January, from January to March. So the idea here is we're going into September. We're going into the months where the current catalog um, that we have right now, which is... This one, if you see something there that you think you're going to use and you love it, go ahead and get it because the next set of 
of items that come out is going to be the celebration and the new catalog starting in January. So the thing is, I don't recall, I'm not going to say they've never done it, but I don't recall them offering free designer series paper to match something that's in the occasions catalog. So that year, they, or rather this past January, they did that and boom, okay. So let me just show you, even though you're seeing black and gold and all this in this paper, and here's how I use the set. Now, y'all know I get ideas off Pinterest, but this, this is cased from Pinterest, and this I used Rococo Rose, which is a, kind of a dusty pink. I kind of think I would go a little bit more vibrant pink with this. And I did, um, I went on my computer and I typed out the sentiments. Um, I watched a video and one of the ladies said, you know, they kind of missed the mark with the stamp set because the sentiments don't have the cute little B sayings. Like, you know, will you be mine? That kind of thing. Um, they're very standard sayings, which is fine. But if you want it to say, thanks for being my friend, hope you will be well soon, you know, something like that. And then I decided I wanted to try this color, which I love these. Oops. Happy B-Day, both of these. And on the inside of each card, I put the, the cutout. So I'm showing you this. Oh, hey, Cricut. That paper is not available, and the reason I was showing it is to tell you that um, Celebration is coming in January, and that's the first time that they've offered, that I know of, that they've offered the free Designer Series paper with a purchase, you know, I don't know, was it 50 or or $100? It's probably $50, and, um, and, and it's, it's a timeless thing. So if you see something like that with Stampin' Up!, go ahead and get it. Okay, so now I'm going to show you, Cricut, I'm glad you're here, um, and I'll go ahead and, and tell y'all what I need y'all to know. I'm going to Tuesday nights starting next week, and I don't know quite what I want to call it yet, but my Bible study has moved to Mondays, and I definitely, Tris won't be here this, oh, okay, he's so cute in his Savannah Bananas uh, gear. Hey, Lisa, I showed it to tease you, right? <laughs> but, um, but yeah, I'm moving to Tuesdays, and my Bible study group is going to start uh, Zooming on Monday nights. So as of next week, please come back here Tuesday at 8 p.m. Right now, that's all that's changing that I know of. Okay, so Cricket, I'm glad you're on here because we're going to talk about these envelope liners, okay? These are the dies here. And these are the liners. Now, the one I have is not that fancy. It's it's a um, it's a die from from back in the day. I don't even know, but it cuts it cuts a large piece of cardstock, or rather, designer series paper. Now, the idea is that you don't really need because you see how short the dies are here. They figured it out. You don't really need to go down into the envelope that far. Okay, so this one, and yes, this paper's um, discontinued as well. So you see where the glue is, which please, nobody lick envelopes anymore. Let's just use our aqua painters, okay? Um, aqua brushes. So you put your, if you were to use this, you put your paper in there and it's not glued down and you put it where you want it, and then you fold it, okay? I'm gonna use my bone folder just to make sure that it stays good and flat. And let's see. Oh, you'll miss my lives on Tuesday nights? Oh, man, that's awful. What time do y'all meet, and when do you get done? Okay, so these right here would probably work this way. You're gonna go like this, you folded it down, and then you put your adhesive here and you close the envelope on it. So then you have a lined envelope. Isn't that beautiful? So I would recommend if this is something that y'all want that you get it while it's available. Will it be in the um, next year's catalog? 
I never know. I don't know what they're going to, you know, what they're going to um, keep in there or carry over or whatever. They don't tell us that till we need to know. We're on a need to know basis. Okay, so now I want to share this with y'all. Now, this was available last year. It's called Gather Together. This is the stamp set. And y'all saw me do some really cool things with leaves last year um, or earlier this year. You know, we took a piece of white cardstock and I, um, I just put a bunch of different, I, I um, brushed a bunch of different autumn tones like orange and a light brown and maybe some red, things like that. And I just kind of, you know, sponged them on at whatever random way and then stamp the leaf and then cut out the leaf and it was gorgeous. Do, do y'all remember that? Um, let's see, 6.30 to 8. Oh man. Well, you, maybe you can catch my replays, Cricket. I will miss you so much and maybe that'll just go, we don't even know how we're meeting. Yeah. Um, maybe that'll just go through the fall or something, but I hope you can catch my replays. So this, this is one of those, um, sets that you're going to use over and over. And I'm going to show you a neat way to use it tonight. Here they've used it on a, on a little box, one of those little pizza boxes. They've made a card with it and they've used it on a cup. Okay, so I decided... We would use it on a cup tonight. And I went ahead and cut everything because, like I said, we're going to try and get get this done um, efficiently tonight. Okay, these are some of the die cuts. And these leaves, as you can see, some of it is vellum. These are vellum. And then um, the shiny ones are the brushed metallic this darker brush metallic which is gorgeous and it goes with this gorgeous designer series paper this is the wrap that's going to go on the cup and these are kind of extra i'm not quite sure how i'll use those but i'll come up with something okay so this right here came out of the out of the uh warm wraps dies and the warm wraps dies go with the warm hugs and the wrapped in christmas that is a suite that's available in the catalog right now casey wants you to know she totally licked the envelopes for the save the days <laughs> ah, yay i need a replay gal thank you yes yes um so yeah this goes with that suite and of course like i was telling you last week you don't have to buy the whole suite you can just get just the, um, oh, poo, stop that. Hold on, hold on, I got a thing going. There we go. Okay, um, you don't have to buy the whole suite. You could just buy whatever you want out of it. Okay, so I cut these with these right here. I cut two of them. All right, and they've got that little tab. Well, that little tab is right here. And then there's one, you can barely make it out right there. Okay, so that's where we're going to glue it. And we're going to put it around our cup this way. It's very much like we did those Christmas cups a couple of weeks back. Okay, it's going to go like that. Now I know where I want it. And I'm going to put its glue on, which really, I guess I could use the... Um, that tape, that uh, glue strip, whatever it's called. I don't know. All right, let's see. But this, this works. So what I'm showing you here is the versatility of the products because we've got the cups. You can use these for Valentine's. You can use them Christmas. You can use it, like I was saying before, a little get well and put some um, a package of tea and maybe a package of uh, chicken soup or something like that in there so that they can heat them up. They're totally usable, 
all right? And this is their little lid. You saw those before. And those are in this catalog as well. Okay, so in order to, I know I say okay a lot. I know, I know. In order to kind of expedite all of this, I went ahead and put together a pile O foliage. That's an industry term, pile O foliage. Hey, Heather, I'm glad you're here. So I took a circle, and then I just started building it up, okay? And right here, I think... I think I want that to be a greenish color. I think I do. I don't know. I'm, I wonder should I even try it? Why not? Right? Let me see. Let me see what kind of matches. What kind of matches? Okay. All right. I have a um. Watch this blow up my face, but we're we're gonna see. I'll show you close up. I'll show you close. Oh, that's pretty. Okay. So now it's got like a little blue-green hue to it. I don't know if you can see it, but it's very pretty. You can color, this is an alcohol marker. You can color your um, bling. It You know, nobody says you can't, right? So do it. <laughs> All right, so then we can just put this right here on our little cup. And I'll probably use, um, I think I will use a, I guess I'll use a glue dot, a few glue dots. I love these glue dots. I've got an order coming in and y'all, I had $80 credit because I had, and, and th this is how I'll, I do Stampin' Up. Um, Oh, thank you, Heather. I love these little coffee cups, too. They are just the cutest things. Um, I had $40 in points from, from my sales, and then I had another $40 in... They gave us $5 for every... I don't know, for every 50. I don't know. Anyway, I had coupons for... Um, $40 worth. I had a bunch of $5 coupons. And I got those because I waited to order a big order when the um, new catalog came out. And I just timed everything to where I would have like an $80 credit. And boom, I had an $80 credit. So I was real excited to be able to use, um, use it in a smart way and get more supplies. And anyway, I expect those here hopefully by the end of the week. Um, for those of you who missed it, I announced earlier I'm going to Tuesday nights at 8 p.m. because my Bible study has moved to Mondays, and I didn't find that out until last Tuesday. So this is a pretty little something that you could give, and I mean, it's sweet, and you can put like a little, um, you can put a little tag here, or you can hang your tag off of this, but isn't that pretty? Isn't that just pretty as can be? And this is mint macaron. And then these, um, as I was saying, the uh, leaves are that brush metallic. Kind of like the gold, I guess. I don't know what color they call that. And then I used my, um, my little leaf punch. This is called leaf punch. Okay. I used that for, for the little leaves on there. I always like a little vellum leaf. I think they're really, really cute. Okay, so we got that. And Heather, you might have missed this, the little bees. And, of course, those are all expired. I mean, um, they are whatever you call it. Discontinued, retired, that's it. But I, I talked about those earlier, seeing you... You can watch the replay if you'd like. Okay, so now I'm going to show you with this um, pizza box. All right, this is just a plain white pizza box. I'll show you how it, how it arrives. It comes like this, and my poor dog gets scared because that's the shelf that always dumps something on her. It comes like this. They're uh, called mini pizza boxes. And super simple. You just fold them up. You don't even need adhesive of any sort. And this, I think, was three and a half by three and a half. 
and it is the um, Bumblebee, the new in color Bumblebee. And the paper that I used with it is the Poinsettia Place. Oh, I'm sorry, the paper that I used on this is Gilded Autumn. Okay, sorry. Okay, and beautiful cup design. Thank you, Angela. So here's the thing. Let's say I need a gift, and first of all, I can put little 3x3 three three cards in here. People love that sort of thing. They love to just get a stack of cards that they can use. Can they mail those? No. But they can leave it on their coworker's desk. They can put it in their kid's lunchbox. Um, that's assuming people actually go places these days, but I'm just saying. They could leave it on a pillow. They could leave it in the, you know on a gift package, whatever. Um, but also, they're food safe. You see, they're kind of shiny inside. Well, Stampin' Up's real good about knowing that, you know, we're foodies. We like little foodie gifts. And you could put uh, several cookies in here. Um, I know uh, I've I've actually packed some chocolate chip cookies in this, and it was just such a sweet little, little gift idea. So I used the poinsettia place with the honeybee, no, bumblebee <laughs> paper. And all I did was just just did this shape and then um, layered the designer series paper, punched a circle and a smaller circle, and boom. You can dress this up as much as you want or as little as you want. And it's super simple. It's, it's just a great little thing to have on hand, you know, and one thing that has always just blown me away is how people will bring us gifts and we don't have anything for them. And I, that was terrible in my old neighborhood because um, I just didn't have anything for anybody. And then I started making things with Stampin' Up! And I had like the little box of cookies or I had a little bag with a pretty tag, um, things like that. I even made, oh, hey, Karen. Oh, Cricket love, oh, Casey loves bees. Bless it. All right. Well, I hope we'll have some new ones come soon. Um, but yeah, the um, I was able to make up little gifty things and people who came to visit, you know, I'd have a little something for them. And I like doing that. I like having, just having a little something, you know, already made up for others. And what else is, y'all, I was trying so hard to not take too much time tonight because it was, it's been, I'll tell y'all, I've, I've had a rough couple of days, to be honest. I've had a rough couple of days, but praise the Lord, um, we're here. It's all good. There's, uh, there's a brighter day coming, right? And I do have quarantine hair. So, y'all have any questions? And I'm moving to Tuesdays. I finished up a little earlier than I thought. Um, I can't see yet, Christina. I can't see because um, I got all of my devices working right now. But I'll check it as soon as I'm done. Um, little personal note. Um, I got physical therapy tomorrow. Ninja Man and I go at 2 o'clock. And... Um, our grandchild, Wren, was supposed to go to Philadelphia on Wednesday, and I didn't realize how how um, desperately uh, uh, concerned I was about all of that, but I was, um, mainly because I had done a little bit of digging, and I found that where they were going to be staying was kind of in the protest hot zone and um Ren's daddy and the whole family was going Ren's mommy daddy her and her sister her daddy's like 63 big old guy he looks scary he's a teddy bear but the protesters don't know that so I, I really kind of felt like they'd be safe um you know if he if he put on a stern face I don't think anybody in their right mind would mess with him but I'm not sure those folks are in there right, Mom. But anyway, so I was really um I I was really concerned about that trip. And lo and behold, they called it off 
the uh, hospital called and they're going to reschedule because um, paperwork, insurance hadn't done what they need to do, whatever. But I was just like, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, you know. Um, we don't have to deal with that this week. So that's all good. And uh, what else? Let's see. Oh, goodness, in the riot area. That would make me nervous, too. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you know, not knowing the town, they drive up in it, you know. Um, so, anyway, that's... We're not going to have to worry about that. Praise the Lord. I'm hoping it'll all be done by the time they do go, which will probably be the next couple of weeks, maybe, I don't know, in the next month. Um, she's on the very tail end of her three years on the um, drug that they gave her for neuroblastoma. And I think next month is when the uh, when the when she's finished on that whole cycle. So they'll start on a different one, and uh, she may end up going to Sloan Kettering in New York, or she may end up going to Philadelphia. I don't know. Um, yes, the Lord knew right, not right now. And it's not like she has to go right now. It's not like she's in a situation. They just want to evaluate her, and that can be done in two weeks. It can be done in a month. It probably can be done in six weeks. Um, they just want to do their own evaluation because that's where the, um, that particular therapy started. So, um, yeah, so it definitely can wait and I'm just thankful. I'm so thankful y'all. God, God walks ahead of us. He's, he's already there. He's already, he's already in tomorrow. He's already in next week. He's already, he already knows when we're going home and, um, I'm just real thankful for that, but I didn't mean to get all get all dark and sappy. Um, just sometimes, you know, some days. Whew. So does anybody have anything to ask me or I got to sneeze? I'm going to try not to. If not, we'll call this a day and we will meet back here on Tuesdays at 8 p.m. And it, I don't know what I'm going to call it. Y'all got any ideas what to call it? Terrific Tuesdays, uh, Tuesdays tips. Um, I don't know. Y'all know I'm a little silly, so I'm good for silly names too. Um, yes, Lisa, thank you. Yes, thank goodness. Cricket, yes. Lisa, how are you doing? My goodness, yeah. Um, yeah, so Tuesdays, we're gonna, I'll name it something. I don't know. If y'all have any ideas, shoot them my way. Casey says, bless you. Oh, if I sneeze. <laughs> I'll take the blessing even though I didn't sneeze. How about that? <laughs> I love it. I love it. So here's my quarantine hair, y'all. It's all quarantine hair. I don't know what I'll do tomorrow. It's just getting all long, and I'm trying to decide, do I want to keep it long? Do I want to keep it short? I don't know. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Taco Tuesday. Talkative Tuesday. Karen just got a delivery. Oh, Lisa, I'm sorry. Bless your heart. Virtual hug to you. Tipsy Tuesday. There you go. There you go. I like that. Talk, talkative Tuesday. Talk, talk it up Tuesday. All right. Well, y'all, thank you. Just keep your uh, suggestions for Tuesdays coming. And um, we will see y'all in a week. Watch my page for, you know, all the things. I don't know. Stuff I share. And if I can help you in any way, let me know. All right. Love you guys. God bless. Toodles.